On March 29th, the Biden-Harris administration and the FDA approved Narcan as the first non-prescription, over-the-counter naloxone nasal spray in hopes of reducing the amount of drug overdoses. However, Charleston fire officials say they've noticed a trend over the past year. So, so far in 2023, uh, I noticed we've uh, administered Narcan 23 times. In all of 22, we only administered 23 times. So it seems to be going up a little bit. Bennett also says there may be more temptation to use amongst drug addicts. You've got that, that uh, medication there to help them. Um, but it also could be lead to a false sense of security that now there's access to that, that maybe individuals will uh, do it more knowing they have an easy safety net there. Since 2019, the Recovery Oriented System of Care Council, or ROSC, has worked with the Our House Recovery Center in Coles County. Our House is known for educating communities on how to recognize an overdose, how to administer Narcan, and tips on self-care after a situation has unfolded. Dana Tell has spent years working with addicts and those in recovery and knows the benefits of having the drug available to the public. Absolutely save more lives because um, they'll be able to breathe and not die from the overdose and they have that time so they can get the professional help they need. But Tell does more than help people through recovery. She also hosts drug overdose prevention programs or DOPS. Um, I teach classes. Um, I help go in and uh, set up DOP sites, which are grant-funded sites that we have uh, materials and Narcan on hand, and we keep those places stocked, and there's about 20 in, throughout Coles County. And if someone has to administer Narcan, Tell says the process is easy. Each box comes with two doses. You just peel, place it in the nostril, and push. And while the process may be easy for the general public, Chief Bennett says first responders are always a phone call away. Make sure you read all the instructions on how to use it and definitely call 911 if you do have to use it. In Charleston, I'm Harrison Belsanti for WEIU Newswatch.